Hello again. Welcome to Shavu and Ras TV. It's uh, Thursday. Every Thursday I have a video here called Things We Need to Know Thursday. And this Thursday I have the topics we want to talk about is food. So it might sound crazy but it's five alkaline food that we need to be consuming so we don't have to worry about flu shots. But before we get into this video, we want you to go ahead and share, like, comment, subscribe, and hit your post notification bell. So turn the bell icon on so each time we upload a video, you get it right there on your phone. So we, um, these are things we need to know Thursday. So every Thursday, you are, as you already know, I have a video that we release called things you need to know Thursday so here we go so the topics today is five alkaline food that we need to be consuming so we don't have to worry about getting flu shots so the first one on my list is soursop so we all know about soursop who don't know about it you know they could go ahead and research it soursop is a fruit that grow in the islands and it grow in a couple of other places. So the good benefits about this soursop is first it's good for your nerve. It's very good for your nerve. You could um you could drink it as a tea two times a day, first in the morning and before you go to your bed. You could also just get it off the tree and you could eat it just like that. Because it is a fruit and it's an alkaline food so it's also good to consume in both way and not going to stretch the fact that you could juice it and you could use it with some key limes you could consume it like that you could also use it with a couple more ingredients for a smoothie so that's the number one food on my list our second one is dandelion root Dandelion root, it's, uh, it is high in antioxidant, it helps to fight inflammation, and it also cleanses your liver. You could also find that fruit in the Caribbean and all over the world. You could basically find a dandelion root. If you know how it looks like, it's all over. Maybe it's in your backyard right now growing and you don't know. So it is, uh, it is good for you, Inflam inflammation. It's also a good source of tea also that's clean your blood, cleans your liver, it cleans your colon. So it's a good, good thing. It's a good tea for you to consume so you don't have to worry about getting flu shot. And these are things you need to know Thursday. Just to remind you, our third one on our list is key lime. We have a lot of limes. We have lemon, we have limes but the main one we're talking about today is the key lime the key lime is it's get rid of all mucus out of your body it is the number one thing to get rid of mucus and mucus lead up to flu and mucus is the cause of all disease so if you could use this key lime it's a couple of stuff that you could use it with like me personally I use the key lime with the organic ginger we mix it together and I drink it like that or if you wanted to you could put a little bit of agave syrup on it so you could you know level it out a little bit and the key lime to consume it like that that take all the all the mucus out of your body and you definitely don't have to worry about getting flu shot whenever time they saying there's a few a flu going around so the fourth one on my list is the I just said it too the organic ginger now it's a lot of ginger out there in the market but we specifically talking about the organic one you know what I'm saying the one that started with number nine the pure number is number nine. That's the one we're talking about, the organic one. So again, you could use it with a key lime to detox your whole entire body of mucus. 
once you use those together and you consume it two three times a day it it is very good to take all the mucus out your body it actually detox your body it it, it good for your blood it also good for your iron so once you get all those stuff out it builds you up in every way that is good for you and in, in the healthy way so if you getting these things and like on a daily basics are three four days a week you definitely won't have to worry about flu shot and the fifth one on my list which I think is the main one is the CMOS CMOS, CMOS is it is consumed of 92 minerals and just to let you know the human body is is um, is make up of 102 minerals and sea moss have 92 out of the 102 so that's like one of the most important that's one of the most important plant we need to be consuming if you really want to stay healthy if you want to stay away from getting flu shot the sea moss is the right thing that we should be consuming so that's how powerful and important the sea moss is to your body so if you actually want to get this alkaline food it's all over in your grocery store it's just that we're not looking for this stuff a lot of us might might be saying oh where do you get those stuff it's so hard to find i never heard of them but they you could get a couple of places like you could order this stuff off dr sebi um network or dr sebi daughter that is osha they have it uh mahat you could Added from these people online and sometimes Whole Food Market and Publix have a couple of these stuff also so we just gotta know what we need and know what we're looking for so if you start using any of these five alkaline food you don't really have to worry about flu shots so without further knowing this is things you need to know Thursday and every Thursday I leave a video like this just want to say to remember to like share comment and subscribe and turn your post notification bell on so each time we upload a video you get it right there on your phone so I will see you on the next video